Hey everybody, we have a 2023 Tesla Model Y and the seems to be the problem with everyone. We have a spare tire, but we have nowhere to put it. I've been looking around online and I found a couple ways to uh, try to make this fit. So we're going to go ahead and remove the center section here, which should give us the depth to fit the spare tire. Before you guys go cutting anything just make sure you pull everything out I kind of removed everything already but check I don't have any wires under anything in here but just make sure you don't have any wires underneath yours all the interior on the back simply pops out it's just on clips and posts to guide everything back in so you can just go ahead and literally just pop them right out I've already done it and once you take everything out, the actual trunk base is held in by four of these little clips. There's going to be one, two, three, four, and they're down in there like that. You just take a screwdriver, and you just pop them up, and then just pull out the four, and then the whole tub will just come right out. Now with the whole rear tub removed, a lot of guys cut this piece out in its entirety and they cut that whole section out there. I'm going to try to keep this as clean as possible. I'm going to try to do a cut here and fold this all down so it kind of keeps somewhat of a nice interior. So we're going to take some measurements and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so I took my measurements. And I took a razor knife and I went ahead and I made the cuts on the corners so this whole piece can fold right down to try to keep that clean appearance we're looking to keep. Now I'm going to start working on the tub section here and see how much I actually have to cut off. And looking at this I might have to cut some of the sound deadening out because as you can see it's really thick. I want this to sit down a little lower so when we put the platform on it sits where it's supposed to and everything looks nice and factory. So I went ahead and put the tub back in just to get some measurements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut here and come right down to here. And I'm going to try to remove the sound deadening on the back of this so I can make it soft so I can actually fold it up onto this section, like I said, to try to keep that clean appearance. And basically crease it right across here. And then again, come up with a cut and then cut right across here. All right, so I went ahead and made my cuts along both sides. So now I could take this piece of the fabric and fold it right back out of the way. Then we have all this sound deadener here. I have to make a cut basically right across here and get this piece out of the way so the tire can sit down and in. Alright, so I have the top out and I went ahead and removed that strip of uh, sound deadening and just the ridge support that it was, the styrofoam. And that's that right there. I would recommend using a long razor knife because this stuff... Uh, it's not your average foam. It definitely took a little bit to get it cut. So I'm going to try fitting this in and see where it lays. Alright, so I got the tub back in. And with all that out of the way, this really does lay way flatter. Um, I did put the sides back in and I did try to fit the tire. But I'm shy by about an inch. So after looking at this, underneath here, there is a mountain of sound deadener and then just supports just to hold this in place and if you put anything in there. But looking at it, if I just take these little sections off here, that'll allow this to sit way lower, trim this edge off. That will should give me what I need to get this to where the tire will sit flat and I'll be able to put the false floor back on it. So I'm in here looking at this and I was trying to figure out how to remove all this. If you actually just get your finger up in there, it just peels right off real easy. I'm going to run it back to this line here 
take all this off from here, leave the side stuff for now and see how that all works out. So I removed that section of sound deadener and I'm test fitting it and I am down to just about less than half an inch. So I gotta see how to get that down the rest of the way and what I can lose to make up the difference. But the way I'm looking at a half inch really ain't bad with the whole modern spare in there. The whole kit in the bag, everything's in it. And I'm a little less than half an inch, but. Okay, so after doing some more fitting and fitting and fitting and looking, I uh, went ahead and cut this piece of fabric out the problem was this whole piece was sitting up this high so now I can basically take the blade of the rim put it here so it'll sit down inside of there so that should give me what I need to get this low enough and you'll never see this because the existing carpet should be able to once I can figure out how to get it to lay flat should cover all that up once I trim it all up and clean up the edges and stuff so we'll see all right well after even more fitting and looking I went ahead and I trimmed a little more sound deadener basically right down to the level of the plastic tub all the way across because the problem I was having was the sound deadener was up here so when I folded the carpet it wouldn't allow this to lay where I wanted it to so I went ahead just took a pair of scissors, actually worked pretty good. Short pair of Fiskers. Cut it right off, got rid of that. And then I went ahead and where this sits like this, I used this back line on where that ridge was. And I cut this extra piece off, and get that out of the way. And now I can get it to lay real flat. I got some double-sided adhesive. I'm gonna try to put on there and go from there and see where it I end up with my heights. Well, after doing a little more fitting, uh, we were at about 7 sixteenths once we put the false floor back in um, as our finished height. After doing this, took out a little more of the sound deadener going back. Trimming all this, trimming this all through here. Um, we got it down to about 5 sixteenths. So when you put the false floor, you'll have a little gap about five sixteenths and uh that's as good as i can get it there's no way to physically make it any lower because you have all this webbing and stuff in here i mean if that wasn't there it might sit a little bit lower but other than completely cutting all this carpet out cutting all this carpet out and just removing everything i just really don't want to do that i want to kind of keep it as clean as possible i'm going to order a couple pieces of black trunk liner and then fix this so this is all nice on both sides when you look in the car it really won't look too different than it did from factory so I'll get it all back together show you guys where it's at okay so going back together um, I went ahead this will tuck right back down into the tub so that'll hold the carpet in place there. I put two pieces of 3M double-sided adhesive to hold this layer down. But on the sides here, there was nothing. So that piece that we took out of the center here, I just took some quick measurements and cut pieces that fit right in there real nice. And that'll have, you know, add the sound deadening back a little bit. Did the same thing on both sides. And like I said, I'm gonna get a little piece of uh, interior fold it all down in there cover this all up but I'll get it back together and show you guys what it looks like at the end here so everything's basically back together I got this section here to lay flat as I could um, I did try using the double-sided adhesive which really didn't work as good as I thought it would so I just used some hot glue ran hot glue all the way across the edge pressed it held it and uh, it's definitely holding way better sides like I said I'm gonna get some carpet I'll clean that all up with that but that's basically how it looks all back together all right everything's in everything's back together that's where we're at 
modern spares in there and everything's in there you have your jack your wrenches everything to do everything to put the spare back on with the exception of your pucks definitely don't forget your pucks but like we said all the way in all the way down i mean we definitely definitely got it better trimming up all that stuff but you put all this in put everything back to where it was you can push this down and it's flush but like if you just drop it in you have that little bit of a lip but the way I look at it is everything's in, everything's back together. And it's better than having that five inches that we had before where everything was lifted. You get your trunk back. And like I said, it ain't 100%, 100% perfect. But it's way better. You have your whole trunk back. Everything's down there. Everything I used will be in the links below. You can check everything out. Modern Spare. I'll put links for all the tools that I used. And uh, thanks for watching.